What's up, YouTube? This your boy, Big Boy Facts, Johnny TV, and tonight I'm going to give you guys my WWE SmackDown review on how to sell you guys are new to the channel. Make sure you guys connect with me the right way. Watch this full video. Also, hit that like button and share the video. Connect with my social media, my Twitter, my Instagram, my TikTok, and Twitch down below in the description. Make sure you guys watch this full video. If you are a wrestling fan, make sure you guys watch this full video. Leave a like, and then comment, and then connect with me. All right, let's talk about SmackDown. Now, SmackDown was a pretty good show. It was just a pretty good show for what it was. We're, kick, we're, we're kicking things off with the in-ring segment, Sonya Deville. Sonya Deville introduced the crowd to the SmackDown Women's Survivor Series team, which consists of Shotzi, Natalia, Shanna Baser, and Aaliyah. The last member of team, last, the last member of team member of team and the uh, team captain, Sasha Banks. That's that's a huge clap right there. That Sasha Banks is, is the captain on Team SmackDown. But anyway, gets a special introduction. From Sonya Deville. As Sasha Banks walks down to the ring, Sasha stares dagger through Sasha Banks. As soon as Sasha Banks gets in the ring, she go she goes for Shashi. Natalia and Aaliyah, Aaliyah separate them. Before Sonya Deville can try to restore order, Na Naomi's music hits. Naomi gets in Sonya Deville's face. Shanna Baszler tries to pull Naomi away. Naomi decks Baszler and a huge brawl breaks out. So we get a six women tag team match. Sasha Banks, Naomi, and Aaliyah versus Natalia, Shotzi, and Shanna Baszler. Alright. Sasha Banks lands a real barrel bulldog on Natalia. Shanna Baszler tags in and slams Sasha Banks before cheap shotting Naomi on the apron. Sasha Banks tosses Aaliyah into a runner on Baszler. Baszler works over Aaliyah. Aaliyah rolls through and clutch and tag in Na Naomi. Who lands a furious of offense on Baszler? Naomi tries a springboard, but Na but Natalia stun guns her on a top rope. Natalia suplex Naomi off the apron. The heels take turns working over Naomi. After the break, Naomi is about to tag in Aaliyah. Aaliyah flies Natalia with in the crossbody in a series of death press. Um, Natalia missed a disgust lariat. Natalia locks N uh, Aaliyah in a sharpshooter using the ropes for the for more leverage. Naomi stunts Natalia in the middle in the middle row. Aaliyah rolls Natalia up for the win. The winner of the match, Sasha Banks, Naomi, and Aaliyah. But what kind of pin was that that uh, that Aaliyah did? What kind of pin was that? But anyway, let's move on. Backstage, Sami Zayn practiced a speech to rally SmackDown's men's Survivor Series team in the bathroom mirror. Jeff Hardy sees the whole thing. Sami Zayn asks Hardy how much of that he saw. Hardy says all of all of it, and he and and it's uh, and it suck. Backstage, Aaliyah is super excited about winning her first match. Sonya Deville walks in and asks Aaliyah how long she's been been friends with Naomi. Before Aaliyah answers, Sonya Deville tells Aaliyah she is off she is off the SmackDown's Women's Survivor Series team, which is already new. Me and Showstopper knew it from the beginning. Okay, let's move on. Backstage, Kayla Braxton finds Roman Reigns and Paul Heyman. Roman Reigns tells Kayla no one cares what she wants. Roman Reigns tells Heyman to smarten Kayla up. Heyman tells Kayla that Reigns will bend the, bend the knee to King Woods if, if Reigns can't make King Woods bend the knee. If Reigns doesn't follow through upon losing WWE, can strip Reigns of the Universal Championship and they can Banish him from SmackDown forever. All right, so we get Shinsuke Nakamura and Rick Boogs versus Lars Lutharius. All right, quick tag team match. Rick Boogs suplex Curio. Rick Boogs lands his painted, painted multiple gut wrench, wrench suplex after a cheap shot from Garza. Lars Lutharius takes control. Garza rips off his pants and throws them at Rick Boogs. Garza and Carrillo work over Rick Boogs. Rick Boogs managed to tag in Nakamura. Nakamura clears the ring. Nakamura hits a sliding German suplex on Carrillo. Carrillo lands. Carrillo and Garza hits a modified total elimination on Nakamura for the win. The winner of the match lost Lotharius. Uh, Backstage, Adam Pierce is, is with Von Wagner. 
Sami Zayn interrupts. Sami Zayn complains about Hardy being on the being on the Survivor Series team. Sami Zayn demands Pierce to remove him. Pierce books Hardy versus Sami Zayn tonight. The loser is off the Survivor Series team. And I question this. I, I question myself this. The only thing that you should remove is um Happy Corbin. Replace Happy Corbin with Sheamus. That is facts. Um, um, Happy Corbin does not deserve to be on Team SmackDown. The only person that needs to be on Team SmackDown is Sheamus. It's nothing but facts. And I know Destination Gaming is watching this. And he's going to agree with me down below in the comments. So Destination Gaming, if you're watching, please agree with me down below in the comment section that Happy Corbin needs to be replaced by Sheamus. That's all, and that's all I got to say. All right, let's move on. In-ring segment, Charlotte Flair. Charlotte Flair says Becky Lynch has no idea who she is in who she is it is a complete joke. After Survivor Series, Becky Lynch will have a new name, Becky. Uh oh. Flair gets the crowd in on the uh oh chant. Flair says not only not only can she be Becky Lynch, but she can be anyone between these ropes. The SmackDown Woman Champion says her name should be the star the star maker. Tony Storm into us and challenge Flair to a title match tonight. Flair says absolutely not. Flair walks away. Backstage, King Wood says not having Sir Kobe in his corner is like having one arm tied before his before his back before his back. King Wood says he is still going to force Boris to bend the knee to his to his king. Alright, let's move on. Oh, let's move on, guys. There you go. So we get Jeff Hardy versus Sami Zayn. Loser will be removed from Team SmackDown. This was a quick match. Hardy takes an early advantage. Sami Zayn catches Hardy with a stiff knee to the stiff knee to take control. Sami Zayn works over Hardy. Hardy sends Sami Zayn out of the ring. Hardy missed a dive off the steps and crashed into the barricade. After the break, Hardy fires up and lands a whisper in the wind. Sami Zayn kicks out. Sami Zayn tries to roll up Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn tries to roll up Jeff Hardy with his knees on the ropes. The referee sees it and uh, uh, and demolishes Sam, demolish Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn argues with the referee. The uh, Jeff Hardy draws Sami Zayn with the twist of fate. Hardy lands a swan time for the win. The winner of the match, Jeff Hardy. All right, backstage, Ridge Holland wax wax. Wax spoke about Sheamus. Holland is proud to follow in his footsteps. Cesaro walks in and tells Holland to be careful what he wished for. Holland says he and Sheamus will be be a more effective team than the bar ever were. Holland says if Cesaro doesn't like it, he can take it up with Sheamus when he returns next week. All right. So we get the main event of the evening. So we get Roman Reigns accompanied by Paul Heyman versus King Woods. Loser has to bend the knee. Alright. Um, this was a quick main event. Alright. Roman Reigns lands the 10 punches in the corner. King Woods sends Reigns out of the ring. King Woods lands a diving drop kick through the ropes before landing a flurry of strikes outside the ring. Roman Reigns draws King Woods with an uppercut. King Woods falls out of the ring. Roman Reigns rock bombs King Woods on the announcer desk. After the break, Roman Reigns floors King Woods with a big boot. Roman Reigns blasts King Woods with multiple clotheslines in the corner. King Woods fires back, but is quickly cut off by another uppercut from Reigns. Um, King Woods surprised um, Roman Reigns with a slingshot DDT. King Woods lands a multiple strikes. Harlem's sidekick by King Woods. Um, Roman Reigns kicks out. Basement face busted by King Woods. Roman Reigns locks, I'm sorry, Roman Reigns kicks out again. King Woods goes up top. King Woods fires, fires off the top right into a rock bottom by Reigns. Roman Reigns calls for the spear. King Woods boots Reigns in the face. King Woods lands the limit breaker. The Usos pull King Woods out of the ring and attack him to cause a disqualification. The winner by disqualification, King Woods. After the match, Roman Reigns bends the knee as the Usos put the King Woods crown on his head. And SmackDown goes up the air. 
But anyway, let me know. Overall, SmackDown was a pretty good show. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed my WWE SmackDown review on Highs, please hit that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys connect with me the right way. But watch this full video first before you like and comment and then connect with me the right way. That's the right way to do it. But anyway, follow my social media, my Twitter, my Instagram, and TikTok. My Twitter, my Instagram, my TikTok, and Twitch down below in the description. You guys have a great weekend. And I will see you guys next on my AEW Red Page review on highlights. This is your boy, B-Boy Faction on TV. I'll talk to you guys later. And I'm out of here.